What's up, everybody? I'm Joey. Uh, YouTube drop a gear and disappear. Um, today, our our starting mechanism is broken. Uh, where's the key? Do you have the key? No key? All right, no keys. Hell yeah. Not the keys I wanted. I know who has a key. Who got the key? I need the key! All right. Are we restarting? No, we're still going. I'm bleeding. My buddy cut himself earlier today. While we were trying to do this for the first time, which I actually learned how to do it, um, real quick, so I could do this video. Um, I made a boom boom on my finger with a with a with a box cutter that we have over here that he's sitting. I don't know where the fuck. Oh, right here. Box cutters are dangerous. Just saying. Anyway. All right, so um, this is me and my friend's project Jeep. As you can see, it's not in the best shape. We've got most of the interior taken out. The radio's gone. Half the dashboard looks like shit. And neither of the front doors have door panels. But um. We've got it to a point where it's actually somewhat doing something. So, as you can see, this is this is broken. This don't work. So, we're gonna take the key. Okay, we're gonna take the key. Fuck it. Huh. Things you're gonna need for this video. A paper clip or two. And some spare electrical wire. And a flathead. And maybe some clippers if you need to cut the wire. Uh, for the, for the uh, first thing, we're going to blow this area out, because you're sitting on everything. And then I need flathead to get the, uh, first we have the actual mechanism that starts it. You're going to take that out just because it's going to be useless. Fuck that. Down here, let me see this. Down here, if you guys can see it, oh shit, right here, this piece right here is the piece you're going to need. It's going to have two clamps on each side, right here and right here. You're going to use a flathead to take those out, but I've already done it, so I didn't put it on all the way. Now our wiring is gonna be, this red wiring is what you're gonna need, the blue wiring and the yellow wiring, but you're not wiring, but you're not gonna clip them. You're gonna leave them exactly the way they are. So. I got you. <laughs> There's mom. There's mom. Say hi mom, say hi to YouTube. Hi. All right, <laughs> anyway. All right so first you're gonna take the paper clip. Now two ends. Now it's not gonna stay in there. I already know that for a fact, so if you want to use some kind of tape or something, once you, you're going to put it in the red wiring and the blue wiring sections, and if you look up in the dashboard after I do this, it turns everything on. See? So, you're going to hold these here, find a way to stick them in and hold them there. Now the wiring is where it comes in handy. You're going to have to have both ends stripped to where they can both be useful. You're going to put it where the yellow wiring is right here, and then touch it to the paper clip, just like this. Ready? And bam, there you go. Now your car runs. You don't, you're not gonna need the wiring except to start it. The only thing you have to worry about is having the actual paper clip to uh, stay in there. Because once you take it out, it's like taking the key out. It's gonna turn off. So like I said, blue and red wiring is where these go. It, it won't shock you, so you don't have to worry about that. And then, um, hang on. It's being mean. This car hates us. Yeah, it does. There we go. And then, uh yellow wiring slot, and then just touch it to the paper clip. Oh, shit. Let's try that again! Take two! One more time. The paper clip's right on all the way. 